Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. Before we head over to the Universal Orlando Resort, I have to make a quick pit stop because today is November 4th, which is the first day that Starbucks has their holiday drinks. I got the peppermint mocha with oat milk. And then what did you get, babe? I got the iced caramel brulee with coconut milk. Ooh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. This was awesome. It tastes like Christmas, but we just made it here to the Universal Orlando Resort to just have a fun day. Lots of updates. I believe most of their Christmas decorations are out, but we want to start over at Islands of Adventure because it's been about a month or two since we've been over to Islands because of Halloween Horror Night. So I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Well, this is something I haven't seen in a very long time. There's no lines to get through security. Yes. I do want to mention right now the temperature is 73 degrees and it's overcast. It feels amazing here in Central Florida today. We are starting our day here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Here's some Christmas garland here at the turnstiles. The adventure begins. Welcome to Whoville. Universal has put up the Christmas decorations. Looks like the carousel is going through a refurbishment at the moment. Now, the holiday festivities doesn't begin until November 13th, and it goes through January the 2nd. I can already tell, looks like Grinchmas is coming back this year, which I love that show. It is fantastic. Look at the Grinch. Well, this is fun. Man, this place is decked out for Christmas. This makes me so happy to see. Of course, I will be back to cover everything Grinchmas and everything Christmas here at the Universal Orlando Resort. But now, let's head over to the Velocicoaster. Bianca loves stopping at this kiosk because she really likes evil eyes. There she goes. <laughs> As I'm walking past Poseidon's Fury, the construction walls are still up. I don't really see any new construction or any kind of updates regarding this area but who knows there's all kinds of different rumors out there even here on the other side everything looks the same so right now the Velocicoaster is a 65 minute wait so we're gonna come back hopefully that queue kind of dies down a little bit but now, let's head through Hogsmeade, which is decorated for Christmas. Oh, wow. It looks like the All Hallows Eve Boutique is still open with the leftover Halloween Horror Nights merchandise in here. Oh, it still smells like Halloween. It looks like a good amount of the leftover merch is 50% off. I mean, I do already miss Halloween just a little bit, but I'm very excited for Christmas. Halloween and Christmas, man, those are my two holidays. Yeah, just about everything is 50% off. What'd you find, babe? Graveyard games. All right, let's get back on track with Christmas. Welcome to Hogsmeade. I really love the holiday garland throughout Hogsmeade here with the snow on the roofs. Of course, it is pretty busy in here, but right now Hagrid's is delayed, but they're still allowing people to go through the queue, but it says delayed. This view never gets old. Well, right now, Forbidden Journey is only a 25 minute wait. Let's hop in line. You must be quite proud to have Harry Potter in your house, Roderick. Yes, a remarkable young man, I like this Christmas tree with the floating candles. This was pretty much a straight walk on. That was a very fun ride on Forbidden Journey. Also during the holiday season, Universal will have Christmas projections on Hogwarts. We'll be back to check it out, trust me, because I love that show. Is it just me or does the Jurassic Park lettering look brighter to you guys? 
Looks like you got a fresh coat of paint. Okay, we walked back to Velocicoaster. That attraction is still a 65 minute wait. We also walked past Haggers. That is a 95 minute wait right now just because it was down for a few hours. So we're just gonna head out and go over to Universal Studios Florida. There goes the Hulk. But the last few times we've been here, the tops of Doctor Doom were gone, but looks like Universal added them right back. I think it was just a refurbishment. Ooh. The Hulk is also a fun roller coaster. We came inside of Starbucks to check out the holiday Starbucks cups and look at these. Brand new. Check these out. Very nice. Oh, they have a blue one also. Oh, this one has a mermaid. I don't think this one is holiday related. Before we stop over at Universal Studios Florida, we're gonna stop off somewhere in City Walk because it is lunchtime and we are both pretty hungry. One of my favorite places to grab food here in City Walk is Bread Box. You just head right up these stairs right by Voodoo Donut. So City Walk is right there, Voodoo Donut is right there on the right, and then here is Bread Box. We made it here to Bread Box, and here's a quick look at their menu. They have a lot of good options and it's pretty affordable compared to the theme parks and better food quality they have soups and salads shakes desserts beer looks pretty good i almost forgot to show you guys what we got just because we're so hungry but i went with the new york style pastrami for 10.99 and then bianca got the turkey that looks really good. Lunch was amazing. We both really enjoyed this place. We love coming here. The food is amazing. It's affordable and it's not that far from both theme parks. And here we are right outside of Universal Studios Florida. The Halloween Horror Nights banners are all gone. I was hoping to see the Christmas banner up and the lights and garland, but nothing just yet. But let's head inside. Today's park hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. We're kind of in that dead season where the parks will close a little bit earlier before the Thanksgiving and Christmas rush. I believe Islands of Adventure closes at 5 p.m. today. Well, HHN, is it quite over just yet? Looks like they have started to break things down, but there's still a little bit of HHN throughout the park. I'm now coming up on Hollywood Boulevard, and look at this. There's Christmas decorations. We have some wreaths, some garland, some lights. So, there's still Halloween and Christmas in the same park that's pretty cool passing by the dark room and look at this portrait of jack the clown <laughs> can you guys see that that's awesome but creepy we decided to stop inside of the prop store they have some christmas decorations or some vintage christmas decor to look at and these are all for sale 34.95 for this santa there's all kinds of good stuff in here looks like from mardi gras have some beads, a few things from HHN. There's the Scarecrow stock from last year. This one was from the SpongeBob SquarePants store. Some more Mardi Gras banners you can buy. Like $150, you can take this banner home if you want that. Look at these scary pictures up here. Whoa, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. You can buy this if you want to have this in your home, if you're into that. <laughs> you can also buy the Scare Actor Dining Experience sign up here. You can buy this old school poncho for $15. Look at this King Kong statue that you can buy for $500. It's leather. Oh yeah, that's cool. A little creepy, but cool. I found another prop from HHN here inside of the Gorewood Forest Scare Zone. The stage, the Terra Queen stage, is the only thing left from this scare zone. A few things to note about this upcoming year. The Mummy, it is going down for a very lengthy refurbishment. The Fear Factor live stage, that is no more. That is, I think, being demolished and changed into something else. And then Shrek 4D, that's going down very soon to make room for a new attraction. I think it's Secret Life of Pets, but nothing's been announced just yet. So this lengthy refurbishment will begin on January 7th. So that's the first day this attraction will be closed and it's going to go through the summer of 2022. So we don't know how long it's going to be down, but it's going to be down for a while. The HHN Tribute Store is completely down, but it's about to be turned into the Christmas Tribute Store I'm sure Universal Creative is inside right now 
getting it ready. Also for the Christmas season, Universal's Holiday Parade featuring Macy's will be making a return this year. Oh, here comes Rip Ride Rocket. Another coaster that I absolutely love. So much fun. That ride is so jerky. Yeah, it is a little jerky, but fun. But anyways, we cannot wait for the Christmas season to begin here at the Universal Orlando Resort. I'm now right outside of Shrek 4D, and this attraction and the gift shop will go down on January 10th, 2022. It's only a 10 minute wait, so let's go ahead and hop in line. This will probably be our last time ever riding Shrek 4D. Taking up our 3D glasses one last time. I really can't tell you guys the last time I rode this attraction. I feel like it's been years, maybe since like 2018 possibly. Who dares disturb my slumber? It's me, Pinocchio! Hey! Oh, we have guests. Run for your lives! Oh, a rather lackluster bunch. Yeah. I don't understand what's happening. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I love that story. Rather episodic for my tears. No! Our story! <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a frightful ogre named Shrek. After saving a talking donkey, in the morning, I'll make it waffles. Banished from the kingdom of Duloc by the evil Lord Farquaad. And everyone lived happily ever after. What's going on in there? Uh, Lord Farquaad, why? You're, you're looking rather pale. Of course I am. I'm a ghost, you fool. Where are they? As the auditorium opens, please enter in an orderly fashion and take a seat as far over as possible. Do not wear your glasses until you are seated. All right, one last ride on Those Shrek 4D forever. Here items. we go. Come on, yeah, we Shrek, a little help here. Ah. And that was our very last ride on Shrek 4D. Man, <laughs> that ride is rough. But here's a quick look inside of their gift shop. And this store will be closing also. Look at these Shrek ears. Also look at this shirt, just another sexy bald guy. <laughs> yeah, that was our last ride. And I must say, I grew up on Shrek. I love Shrek 1 and Shrek 2, like those are my childhood memories. I loved watching Shrek. We think it's going to be changed into Secret Life of Pets, and we rode Secret Life of Pets over at Universal Studios Hollywood. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to link it down in the description below. I'm not really sure if the meet and greet will be going away, but I would assume so. I will say, those seats inside of that attraction will adjust your back. Holy cow. We just left Universal Studios, and on the way out, we're gonna stop here at Voodoo Donuts. It smells so good in here. I also really dig the vibe in here. Ooh, so many good options. Everything looks so good. They have a vegan PB&J donut. We just got two donuts. Bianca got a glazed donut and I got a cinnamon sugar cake donut for later. On the way out, I want to stop inside the Universal Studios store just to see if they have any new Christmas merch. They have some pretty cool Harry Potter Christmas ornaments. And then a Christmas tree set up in the window display. Whoa, check out this Minions Loungefly backpack. That's awesome. So it looks like they only have Grinch Miss merchandise out. Look at this Grinch lounge fly. Oh, it's soft. That's very nice. Here's a woman's tee. Some Grinch socks. 
How much is the lounge fly? $82 for the lounge fly. Thanks, babe. A little Grinch plush. Some more bigger plushes. Get in touch with your inner Grinch. I like that. Oh, look at the gloves and scarves. Oh no, that's a beanie for $24 and a scarf. Another t-shirt. Look at this Grinch Santa hat. That's nice. They have a Grinch glass cup. It says feast mode. That's going to be me on Thanksgiving. Some hoo hash. And this is $10. They have these crystal Christmas light necklaces. Yeah, and that's pretty much all of the Christmas merchandise I am seeing so far. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today's video. Another really fun day here back at the Universal Orlando Resort. Christmas is near. Not all of the Christmas decorations are out just yet, but they're starting to. Whoville, the Grinchmas show is coming back. The Harry Potter Christmas, the Macy's Parade. I'm excited and I'll be back to cover it all. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely In a morning, man, it's time to end the ride Fading it too slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside